Right, it's Product Shard back on Torchlight 2 with another tip and one of the main things you'll need to think about in this game is when you level up of course you get skill points and when you first like play through the game the first time you'll be looking at all the main skills and thinking oh wow they do all this big explosions and they hit loads of people and you'll mainly put stuff into them because uh, I'm guessing you will because that's what I did but what you really need to think about is like when you've chosen the way you're going to go uh, for your character like you can with an engineer you can either go two-handed uh, you can just go for like def um, kind of dealing more damage or you can go sword and shield and once you've decided that you need to look through these passive abilities and just look at the ones that kind of do the most for you and help the way you play and kind of every five points or so well you, you can do it more often if you want but you want to make sure you're always putting skills every now and then into these passives now I'm going sword and shield so I've put uh, a few points into sword and board because that puts my shield damage into my weapon and obviously because you're not using it actively you don't really realize that well what it's doing for you but they do make the game much easier for you and they kind of just speed up the game sometimes because you can do ones that give you health or just deal way more damage and I've also got one that gives me just generally more armor and now I haven't put much in them because I've been getting the skills I'm going to use all the way up the game to tier 1 but once you've got them like the seismic slam I'm not going to be leveling up very much now because I've got it to tier 1 I'll be putting a lot more points into this like sword and board and this charge reconstitution which just seems good but you may you want to make sure right at the start when you've chosen the way you're going to go with the character to look through and choose the ones that you're going to do because you don't really want to put a few points in each of them you want to make sure you level like one or two up kind of all the way because then they stack up and they start helping more and more each one but passives are very important which I've been told many times so cheers for watching and make sure you look through them and choose a few and they will help you out not visibly but they will definitely make the game a lot more enjoyable